establishing a relationship with them, getting to know how they operate, and then maybe that leads to more success blocking for them? Uh, yes. Um, we're doing a lot of work with the running backs. You know, uh, having that chemistry as a team will help us out a lot, you know. Like, we're looking forward to these camp practices, you know, work on a running game. Everybody you know how we, everybody get used to each other, you know. Practices. Jalen, Coach mentioned how, how important it is to develop depth up front. You guys had like seven guys right take through. Mm-hmm. Have you seen any um, other guys sort of step up to sort of build that depth this year? Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of guys, we have a lot of young guys in the room right now. You know, they're all working to get to that point. So I can't really say who's going to step up now, but, you know. Do you feel more confident in the group, though, coming into this year than the last year? Uh, I feel like... I feel like the last two years, this year and last year, I feel like the O-line group was pretty good, actually. You know, two uh, two groups of young guys coming in. And, uh, as an older guy, we have, our job is to get them better and to show them the way and what to do. So. And you personally, what's something that Coach Braswell has challenged uh, challenged you to get better at? And what are you looking to do? Um, Coach B, has a, he challenged me, you know, like, a, you know, in a run game. He wants me to be a more consistent. In the past game, and like my overall all around play for, you know, like, um, you know, we work a lot, we talk a lot about the past, like uh, defense and stuff like that, you know, just to get me better. You mentioned uh, some of those younger guys now, you kind of mentoring them. Obviously, you know, a couple of years ago, you were one of those younger guys kind of coming up, learning from the older guys. How's that been, uh, kind of making that transition to now being the teacher instead of the students? Um, you know, when I was uh, younger, I didn't really like, have like a uh, like an older O line like brother to like really show me the way. Like I had, there was a few here that showed me some things to do. But you know, like as you get older, you realize that like the young guys they need to be shown like what's the way to do it. Because if not, they'll come in here doing the way they think is right. You know, but like it's been stuff going on for years now. Y'all just got here, so you got to show them the right way to do things so everybody can succeed. Um, this year, you know, we're just uh, we're looking to, you know, we want to uh, we're practicing for a Big Ten championship. You know, we would love to go there and I'd love to get a playoff game. You know, a great bowl game would be great. Also, you know, we just have as really we're practicing just a Big Ten championship. You know, no promises, but you know. <laughs> uh, you know, um, being from here, you know, and getting to play in front of my family and all my friends that I went to school with, is, uh, it's a great feeling, you know, like, it's home, like, you would never feel like there's nobody out here that's not here for, you know, like, if I'm out of state, you know, my family's not there, I got to hope that they can make it to the game, but, you know, since I'm here, my family's very supportive, they come to all my games. I'm trying to, for me, I'm trying to, um, I definitely, I'm trying to, no sacks, no pressures this year. You know, this is my last year, so I got to make it the best year I possibly can. You know, I got to work on my pass sets, you know, running game, you know, my blocking, finishing plays, my consistency. So. And, and, and how, how does it affect, you know, that consistency, especially in the blocking game, um, the run game, you know, having all these new running backs and some talented freshmen that are you know, how, how do you see that? Um, you know, the consistency is going to play a big role, you know, like, you know, you get used to doing something one way, like, so, you know, when we're practicing and if we have, like, we're running a play and we run that play the same exact way every time, the right way, when it, when somebody runs it wrong, you want to know somebody ran it wrong, something's going to happen, and you want to realize that something's going on. And, and finally, you know, obviously you got five starters going back, but you also got some other guys that might not be labeled starters, but, you know, played a ton of ton of snaps last year you know, with the starting unit. How much does it help not just having you know the five guys back there to start, but also you know those, those other handful of guys that needed that depth who've also played with you guys. You know, how, how does that help just building the unit as a whole? Um, 
you know, have being able to rotate linemen, being able to have like backups for somebody. Like somebody goes down, we need to have that next guy ready. Like we can't be out here. Somebody go down, there's nobody ready to step up. You know, we got a lot of young guys that are able to play and are going to get ready to play from camp this year. So having that rotation will help us out a lot. You know?